Hey guys, Razorblade Apple Films here, and uh, well, it's been about a year since I last updated uh, my channel and made a video. <laughs> um, you know, sorry about that. I I have this weird thing where I start making videos and I get really interested in YouTube or a specific subject, and then I kind of uh, not lose interest, but kind of stop getting obsessed with that subject, and then I stop making YouTube videos about it. And you know, you know, even if uh, you followed me from my other channel, 1808 Clover, where I reviewed like horror movie memorabilia, uh, you'll know that I I get into this uh, thing sometimes where I just don't upload videos for like months, even though I'm still here. You know, I'm still monitoring my YouTube and you know checking up and watching videos for myself. But I just, you know, I get caught up with life, and you know, here we go. It's a year later, and I haven't uploaded anything. So sorry about that. But, uh, you know, it, every, uh, I noticed that I get subscribers kind of weekly, and, you know, sometimes daily, and thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, it's really appreciated. So, in the spirit of October, I thought, you know, maybe we'll make a little spooky video. <laughs> um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. So, about a year and a half ago, it was like last May, and it doesn't really matter the time, but uh, I watched this documentary on urban legends. And that got me, like, really interested in, you know, I've always had, like, multiple interests. You know, everyone doesn't have, uh, you know, everyone has, like, a lot of stuff they're interested in. I mean, right now I'm kind of like a knife channel, but I, I never really want it to be a one-thing channel. You know, I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, when you subscribe to someone on YouTube, you kind of subscribe for the person, not really the content. So, you know, I like to share a lot of my interests on YouTube. You know, right now I haven't really uploaded anything but knife reviews, which I still, like, love knives. Right now I'm carrying a, uh, haven't done a review on it, I might, if you uh, write down in the comments if you want me to. Right now I'm carrying the Spyderco Gale Bradley too. It's a great knife. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, you know, I have multiple interests, and, you know, when you subscribe to someone on YouTube, I think, you know, if they really like you, you know, it doesn't matter what you upload. I, I don't like people that upload, like, multiple different channels, or that make multiple different channels for their different interests. So, you know, I, I, I like knives, you know, I'm really interested in film, um, art, you know, drawing, and, uh, and, like, I'm really interested in, like, true crime and unsolved mysteries and famous disappearances and, like, anything paranormal, too, like, extraterrestrials or, like, you know, ghosts or something like that. It, all of that stuff interests me. So, yeah, I watched, like, a, a documentary about a year ago on urban legends, and on that documentary there was, like, a, they mentioned, like, Cropsy and, uh, like, clown sightings, and, uh, the Texarkana Moonlight Murders, which is the phantom killer, some serial killer in the 40s, and then they mentioned, uh, like, the Halloween Sadist, which is actually, uh, the, the urban legend of people putting razor blades in apples is actually, like, one of the reasons I, oh, the main reason I, uh, named my channel Razor Blade Apple Films. So, you know, you know, that, that documentary, like, really interested me, I'm like, wow, I kind of, like, really want to make a documentary. So, uh, I've been saving money for about a year. That's that's one reason I didn't upload videos. Uh, mainly, I sold my main camcorder, and I wanted to get a new one. Finally, I got a new camcorder, and uh, I'll, I'll show you some test footage later. But, you know, it's a great camcorder. It's a Canon XA30, and I'm, I'm just getting used to it. I don't, it's, like, really complicated. I, I don't know, like, much about it at all. So, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of the stuff that I'm interested in like that, you know, I hope you enjoy the content I'm going to be putting out, because it's not just going to be on knives. So, hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, in the spirit of October, we are going to be talking about something that happened to me and my girlfriend. So, and I'll include footage later, but this is just a brief intro. I know I'm going to be, like, trying to edit this to be short as possible because I'm just rambling right now. But, uh... So me and my girlfriend are also, we, we both share the same interests. We like stuff like that. We like that whole feeling of, like, the Boo Radley house, you know, like on uh, To Kill a Mockingbird, how all the kids in the neighborhood were, like, wanting to go up to that house, you know. I I've always liked, like, having that local thing that everyone's scared of or something like that. Or just going to places that, you know, something weird happened there or something paranormal or it's haunted, you know. And I I'll probably sh open up about this later, but I don't really believe in ghosts myself. But at the same time, I'm kind of agnostic, you know, like, if I'm given proof or if I go through an event that makes me believe into it, or believe it, then, you know, I'll be more inclined to believe it. But, you know, I'm kind of, like, leaning on, I don't really believe in ghosts. But, you know, it interests me, so, you know, the unknown interests me, and I think it interests a lot of people. So, anyway... <laughs> 
So, me and my girlfriend like to go to different places, uh, like haunted places or stuff like that around our town. So, a couple of weeks ago, it was like September 22nd, I think, we were at this cemetery, and this, we didn't plan, we didn't hear anything about the cemetery, it was just a cemetery, we, we were just driving on this dead-end road, like, looking for, like, cool locations, and, uh, we find a cemetery at the end of the road, and it's, it's called the Bell Creek Cemetery, or actually, no, no, I'm correct, I mean, I'm incorrect, it's called the, it's Bell Creek Lane, or Bell Creek Road, and it's called the Brantley Cemetery, which the sign's all knocked down. So, we, we, like, pull up, and, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of, like, looking around the place. It's, like, a really old graveyard. And anyway, I'm, like, uh, I'm interested in, like, old places, you know, like, even if it's not, it doesn't have any, like, paranormal aspect to it. it, it even if it's just, like, an old place, an old building, old architecture, I'm interested in, but, uh, I'm interested by it just because of, you know, the historical factor. So a lot of these cool graveyards are just cool because they're old. So we were there, and uh, there's some old graves there and stuff. We're looking around, and we... Sorry about that. My camera battery just died. <laughs> anyway, so we are... Where was I? Okay, so we're at Brantley Cemetery. We're just looking around, you know, all cool graves. There's a bunch of old stuff. And we see this one uh, <clears throat> set of graves. It's like a... I'm assuming it's, you know, a married couple. that are now deceased from, like, 1912 or something like that. That's when they died. And, uh, their graves have, like, a brick barrier around them, and that, that kind of, like, stands out because none of the other graves in the site have that. And on this is, like, some weird, like, items which looks like, like, almost witchcraft. <laughs> you know, that, that, that kind of, like, is the word that, like, hits me first. But, like, kind of seance ritual items, like someone was there previously, like, performing some weird ritual or seance or something like that. So, like, instantly I'm interested. I was like, well, this this is cool, you know, like, nothing like this has happened to any of the other places we went to, like that. And, uh, and, and on the grave there's, like, a, there's, like, a wine bottle, which it has, like, it had, like, dead frogs in it, and it was, it was, like, liquefying remains of, like, some animal or something like that that had been there for a while. It, it smelled horrible. Uh, and so there's that, and th all this stuff is kind of just scattered around. And then there's, like, a, uh, um, like, a blue wine glass. And there's one, like, a wine bottle with the frog stuff in it or whatever. And then there's, like, a blue wine glass. And then there's, like, two plastic bottles full of water. Uh, the argan oil, there's, there's a little bottle of argan oil, and that's what caught my eye at first, I was like, look at this argan oil, is that, I asked my girlfriend, you know, is this, like, does this have any, like, significance with, like, witchcraft or something like that? And, uh, and then there's also a little necklace that we found, but we didn't see that until the next time we came. So, so that was cool, we, we saw all this weird, like, seance material, so I was like, well, you know, this is cool, it's like, this is like these, you know, realistically, it's probably, like, teenagers or something like that out there, you know, same as us. And, uh, any, anyway, I, that, that interests me. I was like, we should come back here, you know, see if there's anything, like, people come back, you know? So we came back two days later. Just two days. So in that two days, someone had to have came before us. So we come back two days later, later and all the stuff is moved. It, it's not, like, you know, in disarray like it was when we found it. Uh, all the stuff was, like, perfectly set up, you know, stacked in accordingly or whatever. So... You know, I thought that was cool, like, it's like, as if they, like, you know, organized it, so someone has been out there recently. So, I decided to, like, let's, let's come out here for a couple of weeks, you know, and, like, uh, just, you know, regularly, just when we have spare time, because it's pretty close to my house, it's, like, like, four or five miles away from me. So, uh, I was like, let's just start coming out here, like, randomly, just to see if we can, like, if, if weird stuff starts happening, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, uh, you know, make some big thing about it, it's probably nothing, but... You know, here's some of the footage we shot, and uh, we're both just totally, like, <laughs> just filming it for document's sake. I didn't even know if we were going to put it on YouTube or not. So, either way, uh, enjoy the footage, and happy Halloween. <laughs> I'm just, like, the first time, like, really getting used to my camera, so. Do you want to drive? Okay. Just everything about me. I'm in the Oh, God. 
That's gonna be in there. I'm not taking out. <laughs> Singing the last of the real ones. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Alright. Like two creepy trucks just turned down this road that they have no business being there. <laughs> We just turned down Jin Road. It's the creepiest road in Shemakala. <laughs> you can slow down a little bit. <laughs> I love that there's a... What? It turned down this road. They did? Yeah. Oh yeah, let me film them. No, stop. <laughs> God, there's someone at the end of the road. <laughs> oh my god, that's the witches. All right, the end of the road, so they were definitely at the cemetery. I mean, they could have just been like visiting loved ones, you know? Uh. <laughs> they could be, that could have been the witches. Did you notice the model of the truck? Definitely in here. Good truck marks. Spicy boys. the alleged side of witchcraft. <laughs> so all of the stuff that was set out, here's the blue wine glass, which now has like a leaf in it that wasn't there before, was it? <laughs> here's the jar that we replaced with sand. Here's the other plastic bottle. 
There's the argan oil. There's just like water in it. Look, the stuff isn't in there anymore. Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Comment so I don't look like some crazy person <laughs> talking to myself. Okay, there was like decaying frogs or something in that bottle. At least that's what I saw. Ooh. Ooh, this wasn't here before. <laughs> It's like necklaces or something. Earrings. What are these? That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's it's like it. a necklace. Okay. And that was in this little pouch. Oh, what what's that? <laughs> Okay. Uh, film the graves. BJ Harris and Lisa Harris. Or Liza. <laughs> Should we. How many. Uh, you know. How many minutes do I have on my camera? <laughs> Six hours, 34 minutes. No. 123. That's in my memory card. <laughs> there's like nothing, you know, you know, it doesn't seem like there's anything out of the ordinary with these two people. They are like one of the only people in the lot that has a brick barrier around their graves. Like that one has a barrier, but it's not made of brick. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What what left is there to film now? <laughs> and anyone who's a fan of, like, uh, any type of historical places, like old cemeteries are still kind of, you know, pretty cool to take pictures of and film. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. I feel the most comfortable behind the camera. No one likes being in front of the camera. Uh, unless you're like a narcissist. <laughs> I kind of do. I could get used to it. <laughs> it definitely feels nice outside. It was like scorching hot the other day. Now it's like really windy and nice. Very gloomy day. Perfect day for witchcraft. <laughs> You think that was them, or you think that was just random people, like... Oh, what? That truck uh, it looks like it parked right here. I mean, it they... Parked right here, then. Very... Yeah, that's pretty close to where the... God, that's so weird that, that all that stuff is there. Does that have any other significance? Okay. Look, there's a deer right there. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. He's like, I know better. She. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Brantley. Brantley Cemetery.
All right, what's the date, Sydney? I don't know. <laughs> it's October the 3rd. It's October 3rd. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> so we're back out here the following day. <laughs> Approaching night now. What is it, like seven? Yeah, around seven. I, d I kind of would like to stay here until the sun's like completely gone so that I can like uh, test my IR light. I thought that's a Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> the grass was cut. Really? Hear that dog? Yeah, it sounded like a wolf. <laughs> it's probably a coyote, more likely. <laughs> I doubt it's a wolf in Florida. See, I feel weird on camera. Look at your head. What about it? Low key look like Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so someone definitely came out since we've been here. It seems like there's always been someone, uh, you know, out here like the following day after we come. <laughs> yeah. She's beauty. She's grace. She's a boy. And her name is Dolan. <laughs> know where he thinks he's going. I got the keys. Idiot. I'll just go through this gate. Not a big deal. Hey, these look like they've been trimmed. Nobles. Hmm. It doesn't look like the entire graveyard got trimmed though. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Dumbass is back. Tell a friend. Okay, it's filming. First time filming outside with infrared light. It's not bad. Because <laughs> it's like pitch black out right now, isn't it? It's not pitch black, but like any other camcorder would be like pitch black. Definitely a light would be... Look, like you can see like where it's like throwing out like the IR light from the camera. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Alright, you can take it. Go back to the witch side. <laughs> this isn't actually a big cemetery at all. It's pretty small. Yeah, it's a decent size amount of land, but there's not many graves. And I've said this before, I don't believe in ghosts, but uh, it'd be cool if we were out here filming an IR light and like, uh, we like saw some like, <laughs> like we're like going back over the footage and we like saw some apparition or something. 